Well, hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show how to uh, set up Git in our local machines and how to interact with the GitHub. So for the people who don't know what Git is, uh, Git is a version control tool. So it's using for uh, commit the code in, in the Git servers. Uh, and so we are able for commits uh, any kind of file, not just only uh, code or our developer projects. So the limit is uh, two gigabytes. Uh, and well, the account is, uh, is completely free, no? So we are able for create a new account in, in five minutes. So here I'm going to show uh, how to uh, install the, the command line and uh, commit a, a new project in, uh, in HitGuff. So first of all, what we need to do is uh, download uh, Git, the command, Git command. Uh, so I am in the Git official website here. So uh, basically uh, we have Git for uh, Windows, Mac or Linux. So um, in Mac uh, I use uh, Homebrew, uh, but in Windows we have an installer and uh, in, in Linux we can use uh, uh, apt uh, get for, for install. So, um, well, basically, as I mentioned, so I already have the a Git in my machine. So after the installation, we have a, a command. So Git version. So as you can see here, so it's not the last version, but uh, anyway, so we, I, I can use uh, uh, this version for uh, in show the basics a command for um, for this video, no? Um, and if we type git help minus a, so here we have the basic commands. So we have a, a summary of all the commands here. So that is really useful. And so um, the next step is uh, uh, create a HitGuff account. So in HitGuff.com. So I already have an account here. So that is my account. So basically that is a GitHub dashboard. So uh, I already have a repositories here. So the repository is uh, like a, a new folder when we are able for store the our projects. Uh, and well, so basically, for example, uh, if you see here, we have the the kind of code we have inside. So Java JavaScript. So if I enter here, so I have all the Java code and we are able for download the code from here as well but uh, obviously so we need to use uh, the command line no but uh, we are able for for download the zip with all the the project and the code inside um, well so what I'm going to do next is uh, create the SSH certificate because we need the public and private kit for interact with uh, these uh, GitHub uh, servers. Uh, and well, so if we go to settings and SSH, so I don't have any key at the moment, so we need to create a new one. So for create the new key, so we have a command um basically we need to um type the ssh minus uh, k chain so the command uh, is in the, the documentation for for git so git have.com docs 
So in here we can dive SSH uh, generator generation. So and here we have the command already here. So basically we need to type this command and well this is not working because it's uh, if you are using a legacy system um, so you can use this command and that needs to, to work. No? So basically at the moment uh, I'm going to use this one. So uh, So here your email account. Yeah. So well, in this uh, point, the system asks for uh, create a, a new file. So we can keep the name of the file like this, or just uh, type a new one. So in this case, I'm going to keep this. And I already have the file here but say I'm going to override the file so we don't need any pass phrase here so next next and well so basically the system create the fingerprint and then the file here no so if we enter in this file we can see this uh, encryptation here so basically that is a key we need to copy and paste the key here and add the keys. And well, so during this process, uh, that already recognized the, the new key. Um, and we are able in theory for interact with the GitHub from our local machines, no? So, um, I'm going to create a new repository here. It's just for uh, show how to interact with that. So basically that's uh, examples. So I don't have too much imagination for the names. So create repository. And well, so in this point, so the system show an example and, and then the, the, the SSH uh, URL we, we can use for interact with Git, no? Or alternative, we have the HTTPS. Well, in this case, I'm going to use a SSH. And well, so we can follow these uh, steps. So I'm going to explain how, how to follow that. So, uh, basically, first of all, I need to create a, a new directory. And okay, so it already exists. So I'm going to create a new one. Example two. Uh, example two. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to create a new file. The readme file. So it's a first file we need to commit. So obviously when we create a, a new repository, we can check uh, for create the, the readme file or alternative, we can uh, upload the code from here. But so obviously, so I, I'm going to show how to do that from the command line because uh, the majority of the time we need to interact with using the, the command line, no? So if I create this file, so it doesn't matter, it's an empty file. So the next step is uh, initialize git, um, our local repository. So next step is add, oof, <laughs> no, uh, add the new file, like that, uh, and commits, the new file. So commits is our update. So uh, that one. So basically, here is uh, the comments and 
as you can see here, so what happened is uh, one file change and we don't have anything inside. Um, we, we, we didn't ask, add any, any information in the file or we didn't uh, remove any information in the file, no? Uh, then, so what we need to do next is uh, a branch. Uh, mm, we, yeah, so that means uh, we are going to um, uh, commit this uh, code in the uh, main branch. So I'm going to explain in more details in the next videos. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to explain uh, the basic git commands and also in the, uh, how to uh, work in the in the different levels. No. Well, next step is uh, uh, add the the origin. Origin is uh, our repository in uh, this. Uh, a remote re repository so enter here uh, and then the next step is uh, push the code well as you can see uh, we push the code in the main from the origin origin is our, our uh, local uh, branch so, and um, then in theory, if I enter here, so we already have the file here. So, as you can see, the file is, uh, is in blank. So I'm going to create some content in the file. So, and then, so, uh, example. Yeah, and then uh, git add. So we need that, so we add the the new file. Prepare the new file for the commit. So commit minus m, and then that's uh, uh, add the file. Okay, so you see we have a, one insertion there. So if we have uh, two lines of code, so we have two insertions, and if we delete something, we have a, a delete uh, a confirmation there, no? And well, so the next step is a push. Yeah, and you can see, uh, uh, it's already pushing the in git so if I enter here so we have the the modification no so then the last version so as you can see here I didn't specify the the branch uh, the branch the the repository because it's already now with this command, so I don't need to type this command again. And, and well, so basically, uh, if I click here, so we have the main branch. And um, but in the next videos, I want to explain how to create the a, a different branch, another branches or tags. Uh, well, so that's that is all for this video. So hope you like the the video. So and um, this is my first video. So um, see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.